Good morning. It is Thursday. I don't know what day it is. It's May something if. And I'm starting my day off with bad food decisions. And I have a couple of minutes. So I'm going to eat in the car and read my book. I'm not a happy girl right now. On my way to work, my car started acting weird and I was kind of like, I should probably turn around or take it to the mechanic. But I'm like, oh, I have the bread stuff for the lunch. We're supposed to have a party. And I was bringing the buns, and it's like a slider party. So I had to, uh, I felt like I had to bring them there. And then I was like, maybe I'm just overreacting. Because I tend to make emotional decisions when it comes to my car, like freaking out if something's wrong with it. And this is probably shaking because I'm shaking. Because like, I got to get my car fixed today. So my mom's coming tomorrow and I gotta pick her up from the airport in the morning. So I'm just so stressed out and so, <laughs> the camera's shaking so bad, my hand's shaking so bad. I'm just so disappointed and it's probably gonna cost money and I'm just stressed. But on a brighter note, this mascara and eyeliner is really waterproof because I've already cried. And it doesn't look like I cried. So I just came home to get my personal laptop and my Kindle. Well, I already have my Kindle in my purse, but I just want to make sure I have something to do. Because whenever I go there, I end up being there for so long, I get so bored out of my mind. So I wanted to bring some activities. And I wanted to switch my shoes in case they need my car, like, forever. And if I want to try to, like, walk home or walk somewhere and get something to eat, I'll be comfortable. See, I'm thinking ahead. So now I'm going to pray that my car makes it there, the place where I'm going to go get it fixed, Pet Boys. It's only like three, I think it's like three miles down the road, so I should be fine. I just need to relax, relate, release. <sighs> relax. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Worst case scenario. I can rent a car and use that while my mom's here. I just need to relax. Oh, I was so nervous. Like, this is TMI, but when I get really nervous, I always feel like I have to poop. I don't really have to poop, but that's how nervous I am that I want to poop. I'm, like, depressed. I think it's almost 2 o'clock, and I've been here since 11.30, and they still don't know what's wrong with my car definitely need to find a new place. All I see them do, they keep lifting it up and down and up and down like they're doing like car lift aerobics. That's all I've been seeing. Let's see if I can spy. Nah, I can't get it. It's down again. What worries me is that they're fixing it, but they didn't tell me what's wrong with it and it's gonna be like a thousand dollars. I'm gonna be like, what? So I need to intervene. Just need my car working so I can pick up my mom tomorrow from the airport. It's hot out, which is why I'm squinting like that. I've taken over the waiting room. I have nothing to do. I've made my own office, my phone, my drink, my computer. I'm editing, my headphones. I figure since I'm here all day, I might as well just be comfortable. And I'm going to go ask for an update on my car because it's been too long not to have an update. It's like waiting for someone at the hospital that's like they don't want to tell you anything. It is so hot out. It's like in the high 80s. And I'm walking to the place to go rent a car because they need to keep my car for a couple of days because they have to order parts. And we're walking. Luckily, it's right next door. We're going to budget. I'm on a budget now because I put all this money in my car. Oh Lord Jesus. I'm so dramatic. It's like literally like a two minute walk. And I'm like, oh, I can't handle it. I hope I get a cute car. I'm going to try to upgrade. Okay. I am here. At a budget. I know I look extra disheveled right now and I don't even care. 
after a trial and tribulation at the rental car place, at a rental car, and it's actually really nice. It's a Ford Fusion, and I gotta get situated. I can't even tell if it's on. How do you turn it? I have no idea what that little battery thing means. Is this like an electronic car? I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm so disheveled and discombobulated right now. I'm glad that I have a car and I figured something out, but I, this car, like, it's too fancy, not too fancy, but. It's so quiet, like I kept trying to turn it on because it was, I didn't even realize it was on because it's so quiet. And it keeps like beeping at me and there's lights on and I don't know what anything means. I'm not used to nice things. But tonight, except for it's black leather and it's so hot out. It's 89 degrees, y'all. 89 degrees, it's cray cray. I did figure out how to put the radio on to my um, ratchet radio station because that's just, that's just how I roll. The time has come. Mother is coming. We must mother proof my living quarters immediately. Actually, I have nothing to hide, so there's really nothing to mother proof, but I just feel like I should be like extra nice because it's my mom. She's never been here before. That corner, this corner over here, I can't do I can't do anything about it. This is the I just moved in corner six months ago. The kitchen is clean. That's what happens when you don't cook. You have a clean kitchen. I just need I see like a crumb on the floor, so we need to swift of that. We need to put the shoes away. She's gonna make fun of me for having my shoes all over the place. We need to clean this little corner. She put on some music and clean. Well, not clean, straighten up. Cause I want it to be beautiful for my mother. Every day. What's up? fresh vacuum lines. So I'm just gonna do it. I swifted the floors and everything is neat because it already was neat because I live a neat life. But I need to vacuum. I like this song and I like to dance while I vacuum. Even though I can't dance. I look a mess but my house is clean. It was already clean, but it's clean again. It's cleaner. Everything is in its place. And my tacky couch looks nice and tacky. I finally organized that corner. Oh, I'm so happy. Bookshelf, beautiful, dusted. Mopped. Well, not mopped, but swiftled. And then I use Mistaline, no, Fabuloso, and people are like, oh, that's ghetto. Fabuloso is not ghetto. Fabuloso works. So, I don't know what they're talking about. I might be a little ghetto, but. We ignored this corner. My room is clean. Like, you can't even tell I did anything because it was already clean. Because that's just, that's how I roll. The corner looks beautiful. That sucks. Beautiful. Baño. Mira que nice. It's all clean in here. You like, right? No. I'm going to take a shower. I need to eat dinner. It's like 10 o'clock and I have not eaten a thing. No, I ate a banana. I'm confused. 
Yeah, I don't remember if I ate or not. But I'm not hungry, so I, I guess I don't need to eat. I don't know. I think I'm out for the evening. If anything fun should transpire, I will grab the camera. But I don't think anything will, so I'm out. Good night! I forgot to eat dinner. I started watching Big Love again from the beginning because I missed the last season, but that was like 10,000 years ago, so yeah. I'm gonna watch Big Love and eat my dinner. Good night.